Painless, Susan. Look at my ears. Well, I think they're a little big. So how about if you let me have that, okay? All, all right. Thank you. I need them better than, more than you do anyway. Okay? So here we go. Okay. Let's see. How about if we do your counting and we'll do some of the stuff from the back wall because we don't have a lot to do today. Okay? Okay. Let's see. Let's start with the thighs today. Okay. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 25. Wait a minute. Is everybody standing up with me? Okay. On your feet, please. Everybody on your feet. Okay. Let's start again. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100, 100, 95, 90, 85, 80, 75, 70, 65, 60, 55, 50, 45, 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, and 5. Peppy, you're kind of huffing and puffing today. Are you okay? Um, I have asthma, and the weather today makes it a little hard for me to breathe. Oh, okay. You know what, Peppy? I get asthma too. And some days, mm -hmm, some days, uh, it's really hard to breathe. Yes, it feels like an elephant sitting on me. Yep, that's what kind of what it feels like. So are you going to be okay? Uh-huh, I'll make it. I'm used to it. It's just sometimes I go, <sighs> I run out of air. Okay, let's see. Um, then how about if we just do the threes? Okay. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven, thirty, thirty-three, thirty-six, thirty-nine. Woo! Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven, thirty, thirty-three, thirty-six, thirty-nine. Woo! I think I better stop. I'm running out of gas. I have medicine, but I didn't know I needed it today. So I'll help another day. See you later. Bye, guys. Bye, Peppy. Hope you're feeling better soon. Don't run around too much. Okay. Um. Yeah, I know a lot of kids have have asthma, and. Depending on what the weather is, sometimes it makes it hard to breathe, right? Mm -hmm. There are certain things you can take, um, some natural things. That's what I take. And if I know it's going to be a bad day, I'll make sure I take stuff before I come to school to teach. It wasn't bad this morning, but it's getting bad now. So, um, yeah. so if you're one of those people with asthma, I understand, okay? Alrighty. Our paper today is 228, 227, and 228. The big fish and on the back. Okay. Um, at the top here, you're going to count backwards by twos, okay? And if you want to check it, you can start at 82. 84. Go this way. To, when you're all done, go count backwards. But then when you're all done, count this way to make sure you didn't make any mistakes okay okay the part down here we have three boxes okay the first one in the it says we have the month of january and the month of march what number comes what month comes between them okay everybody stand up let's sing january february march and april may and june 
July and then comes August, September and October, November, December. Twelve months in the year. One more time. January, February, March and April, May and June. July and then comes August, September and October, November, December. Twelve months in the year. Okay, those are your months, right? And if you don't remember, just think your Spanish. If you can't, don't know your English one yet, you might be able to figure it out. Okay, so what month comes? We have January, March. Who comes in the middle? Okay, that would be Anato and Marso. Um, the next one, July and September. What month comes between them? And the last one, what comes between December and February? See how smart you are. Okay, um, next part. Oh, this is where we start getting fun math, okay? We have, okay, first we're going to do 5 plus 4. Who can tell me what's 5 plus 4? 5 plus 4 is what, Andres? 9, good. Okay, 5 plus 4 is 9. Then take away 6. 9, take away 6, Joshua. 3, good. Okay, um, Alessandro, we have 7, take away 5 is what? 2. Plus four, Sefi, is what? Six. Good job. Right here, uh, Lizelle. We have ten minus nine is what? One. Plus eight, Hazard, is nine. Okay? Part down at the bottom is American money, which is not important to you unless you're planning on moving to the United States. Um, and as far as I know, none of you are planning on moving there tomorrow. But if you do, it's nice to know what's on the money. The, the people down there are, are Ameri some of our American heroes. America has lots and lots and lots of heroes. We put them on our money. We have all sorts of cool stuff about them. Okay? So, um, this first guy is Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln. Um, Abraham Lincoln only went to school for about six months. Not a very much time. He was very poor. His family um, couldn't afford for him to go to school, and they moved a lot. His father died, and so you know how he... But, but Abraham decided, I can teach myself. And so he would walk to borrow books. He would walk hours just to borrow a book. Walk two hours away to somebody's house and then walk two hours home to borrow the book. And then when he was done borrowing it, he would return it, okay? That's how he got all his education. He only had a little bit of regular school. He became a lawyer, and then he became a president of the United States. He didn't have school. He didn't have a mama to teach him. He didn't have anybody to teach him but his own little brain. So, what? So, don't you say, I can't do it. God gave you a brain, turn it on and use That's what Abraham Lincoln did. But what made him really great was um, Abraham Lincoln was the president during a war. We had a war where people were fighting the north, top part of the country was fighting the bottom part of the country. And during that time, Abraham Lincoln let all the people who were slaves go free. Yep, freed all the slaves. So they didn't have to be slaves anymore, okay? All the black people who were slaves didn't have to be slaves anymore. He freed them. He was a very brave man, but he was people didn't like what he did, and somebody shot him and killed him. Mm -hmm. But that was Abraham Lincoln. Okay, he is on. He is on our penny, our very smallest one, the one centavo, the penny. Abraham Lincoln's pictures. So what do you need to do? You take your little pencil, and you draw a line from Abraham Lincoln down to the penny. The next one is Teddy Roosevelt. Teddy Roosevelt um, helped the country. He, he built the highway system. He turned a lot of the land into parks, and he did a lot of, the, a lot of nature stuff for the country. Great man, um, but that's what, that's what he's known for, really developing the country, getting the road systems, water systems, that's kind of, very important to have a good road system. You know, when our roads are all chewed up, you can't get anywhere, right? Well, he built big, big, big highways like you have over in Tegucin and um, Saba, real giant highways, right? 
and big dams to hold back the water so that um, people would have enough water. That was Teddy Roosevelt, and Teddy Roosevelt is on doop, the dime right there, okay? Um, next one is Jefferson, Thomas Jefferson. Thomas Jefferson was a very smart man. Very, he was an excellent writer. Excellent, excellent writer. He always had a, a, he had a little box that he carried everywhere with him. And in that box, he had paper and pencils and ink and stuff. All that stuff in that box he carried everywhere so he could always write wherever he went, the special box. But when our country was very new, um, before it was even a country, he wrote the, the documents for our country, um, the important documents, because he was an excellent writer, very educated man. Okay, that was Thomas Jefferson, very wise man. So Thomas Jefferson, and he is on the nickel. The last one is George Washington. George Washington was our very first president, and we had a war at the very beginning to get our independence from England, and he led the army. He had really didn't know what he was doing, but he trusted God, and God gave him the wisdom that he needed. And even though he was shot at several times, Back then, people rode horses into battle. Two or three of his horses were shot out and killed while he's on top of them. Once went right through his jacket, but it didn't hit him, okay? Um, God protected him. God gave him the wisdom, and our country um, won their independence from England, and then he was our first president, and he was president for eight years. Very, very wise man, very courageous man. George Washington, he is on the $1, and he's also on a quarter. So here's the quarter, and there's George Washington. He's kind of like, it'd be the, like the same as um, Lempira, except, you know how Lempira went, I don't know if you know the story of Lempira. Lempira led the army against the Spanish, except for the difference between George Washington and Indio Lempira is, Indio Lempira, because he didn't have any education, um, was fooled. He was fooled by the, the Spaniards and his army lost. And they, and the Spanish took over this part of the world. Why? Because Indio Lempir did not go to school. He did not have an education and he was, he was easily tricked. George Washington never went to school, but he had a tutor at home. His mama brought in a man to teach him at home, kind of like you're being taught at home right now. Same thing with George Washington. So just because you can't go to school does not mean that you can't learn. George didn't go to school. Um, he had it in his home, and he became a great man. Um, but unlike, and unlike um, Lempira, because he had a good education, he was not tricked by the enemy, he was not killed, and he lived to be an old man, okay? That's him. Okay. Okay. Um, Okay, on the other side of your paper, we have some fish. There's a rainbow trout. And rainbow trout um, are about this big, maybe even bigger. Um, but a rainbow trout um, is a kind you eat. They're very good if you like to eat fish. I'm not big on eating fish, but they, they don't they swim in streams, okay? Rivers or streams. They're not out in the ocean, okay? And then an anchovy, an anchovy are the kind they put on pizzas, okay? Anchovy. Uh-huh. Any of you guys like those little those little fish on top of your pizzas? They, the head, the whole thing, blah. Um, okay, so what you need to do is you need to take your, your um, ruler and measure it on inches, okay? This is inch, and remember those two little marks there are inches too. Measure it with the inch side of your ruler. And then it says, circle which one of those fish is, is, really, is really one half foot long. How long is half a foot? How many inches are in one foot? How many inches are in one foot? How many inches here? 12. 
So if there are 12 inches in a foot, how many inches are in half of a foot? Give you a clue. How many things are in half of a dozen? Okay, so anyway, so here we have a rainbow trout, and this is kind of a young one, okay? But which one of these would be six inches? The anchovy that you put on your pizza or the one you sit and eat for dinner that your mama would fry up in a pan? Circle the one that was really six inches, okay? And then this part here, you just add them up, okay? And that's our lesson for today. See you later.